Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who willed that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering, grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications 
prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God, our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place, the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my fleeting when I cry to you, lifting up my hands toward your holy shrine. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I find help. Then my heart exalts, and with my song I give him thanks. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built a synagogue for us. And Jesus went with him, but when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you entered under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, 
and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such face. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin tahat. Today, for our reflection, we are presented with the image of this centurion we have heard in the Gospel. What can we learn from the story of the centurion and his attempt to have his one of his slaves be healed by Jesus? Ano ang matutunan natin sa taong ito na tinatawag na centurion? A centurion is a leader of a hundred soldiers under him. He is a Roman occupier in the old Israel wherein they act as a power source para masubdue ang bayang Israel. He is a person in authority. He had slaves under him. However, we can find in the gospel something remarkable to this Roman centurion. He was concerned for his slaves. He was not Jewish, a foreigner, actually a hateful figure in the olden times because he is an occupier. However, one thing that is remarkable for him is that he respects the religion of the natives. How? He helped build synagogues for the locals. We heard in the gospel, he deserved to have this do for him, for he loves our nations and he built the synagogue for us. This is something new. No? This is something unusual sa Roman occupier. Much more, he has concern for his slave and went outside his comfort zone perhaps or went outside his authority and humbled himself approaching a teacher. Nagpakumbaba at inapproach itong manggagamot na ito para hilinging pagalingin ang isa sa kanyang mga alipin. What can we learn from him, my dear brothers and sisters? I think the first lesson we can get from this centurion is humility. No? He was a person in authority and yet was not adamant, hindi nagdalawang isip na ibaba ang sarili at humingi ng tulong, hindi actually para sa kanya, kundi para sa iba. This is a challenge for us, especially for those persons in authority. How open are we? How humble are we to look after, not for ourselves, but most especially for those people under us, much more to those who we believe can do nothing for us in return. Second lesson we can get from the centurion is that he is able to mingle, coexist even with people he doesn't share the same religion, religious tradition, the same faith with. He was respectful to the locals. He was respectful to his subjects. He was concerned for the good of all. But most especially, no? he had a faith to this teacher called Jesus. He had a certain manner in him that he can see a goodness in other people even if somehow he doesn't belong to his own kind. They don't belong to their own rel same religious tradition, 
because he was a foreigner. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, the true miracle that we need today, nowadays especially, is our capacity to what? Respect the difference in each other's religious tradition and sometimes even political affiliation to transcend and to go beyond what we observe, to go beyond our prejudice, to go beyond the demarcation that we believe we have. Believing in the goodness, the innate goodness in each and every one of us that exists actually. No? Exists. Why? Because that is a gift given to us by God. Ang natural na kaligtasan natin ay kabutihan, hindi kasamaan. Ang natural, naturalesa na disposition ng tao ay not go against someone, but to be with someone. Our capacity to see the goodness. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Mass, I think it is high time for us to be challenged to restore our trust in each other. Be mindful that all things need correction, but must be done not out of spite, but out of charity, out of love. To cross all boundaries, to build bridges, and must never lose the faith in each other as fellow children of God. Through the intercession of St. John Chrysostom, he had this invincible patience. Mapasensyoso sa kanyang nararanasan sa pang-araw-araw na challenges ng pagiging Kristiyano. This Roman centurion was not even Christian. He was a foreigner. But Jesus showed something in him. That's why when he was requested a miracle, he right away gave the request of the centurion. And the centurion, on the other hand, showed a faith that according to Jesus was not even present in Israel. I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. Paano nga man nagkaroon ng gantong klaseng pananampalataya ang sinturyo na to? I think it is because of the innateness he sees always in the goodness of each other. No? Kabutihan ng bawat isa. Challenge para sa atin, mga kapatid ko kay Kristo. Akala kasi natin ang kabutihan is an act. Goodness is an act. But actually for this centurion, even if he was a Roman, even if he was a foreigner, he was good to everybody, even his subjects, even to people of other religious traditions. Because summing up, my dear brothers and sisters, goodness is not an act. It is actually a lifestyle that each and every one of us is invited to emulate. And surely, when we have this, maybe Jesus can also tell again, I haven't seen such faith because faith is automatic to those who see the goodness in each and every one. Amen.
With faith as strong as that of the centurion, let us approach the Lord and pray for the needs of the Church and of the world. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church in all places may consider no one a foreigner or an outsider. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who govern our civil life may treat every person with justice and equality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may learn to understand and accept those people who differ from us in beliefs, race, or background. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our departed brothers and sisters may be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all people, your Son welcomed the faith of the centurion who came to him in humility and trust. Show us your favor as we make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by Him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Chrysostom, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through so your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say, but the, only word, say the word, and, and my shall soul be shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh. 